Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. Welcome to Pack Rats Shack. I'm Packy. Thank you for your continued support for all of you who continue to check back in with me. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I appreciate you stopping in. In this video, I repair a piece that had water damage to the bottom molding and the lower edge of all the doors. I really apologize for the lack of footage showing the water damage. First, on camera, the water damage is very minimized. It's not as evident as it was in person. It's kind of like the opposite of the camera adds 10 pounds. In this case, it seems like it took it away. <laughs> Second, I really wasn't planning on ever doing a specific video on this piece. I was planning on just incorporating it into another video being released next week on getting a lot of pieces ready for a new booth that I just opened up. This booth is going to be specific for pieces that I try to keep them in their original state. So as I got into this piece, I realized it really did need to be pulled out for its own video and I changed direction with the way I was documenting it. So I apologize for that lack of footage in the beginning. So stay tuned, follow along to see how I saved this piece from the dump. And I hope that this video inspires others to not be so quick about throwing things away that can be saved. So this is the piece. It is a beautiful Bombay piece that the owner paid over $300 for and was absolutely sickened that it was ruined during their move. They had covered it with the tarp, but water still had gotten in. She was going to throw it away unless I thought I could fix it. It is sad that you can't really see all the water damage in these pictures, but the piece had swollen areas that kept the doors from opening smoothly and it was swollen on the front underneath edge. This piece was just that really tightly pressed and molded condensed cardboard stuff. I don't even know if you can call it composite because isn't composite board like sawdust? This wasn't even sawdust. This was like papery. And that's why the areas immediately swelled when the water found its way through the protective finish. You can really only see the damage while I'm actually cutting it away. I have never repaired this kind of damage before, so this is all just trial and error. But in the end, it all worked out, so I wanted to show others that saving pieces like this is really not all that difficult. Now this piece is completely dried out at this point, so I know there will be no further water damage from that incident. I basically just cut or scrape level all of the raised areas. After all the areas were scraped level, I sanded off all of the last little papery fibers that were still there.
I then rub in wood filler to these areas. This helps fill in all of the opened pores, but it also helps me build up a smooth finish. Along the molded edge, it also helps me to build up the shape to follow the lines of the original molding. After all that is dried and sanded smooth, I spray the repairs with shellac. This is to seal them up and to start the layers of protection for any future abuse that all furniture goes through. I also take the time to remove the hardware that had rusted and to clean them by using Big Mama's Butter from Dixie Belle and scraping off all of the rust and then scrubbing them with a fine steel wool. I then add another layer of Big Mama's Butter before replacing them. This keeps all of the moving parts lubricated and seals them from continual oxidization. And then begin the layering of paint to match the original piece. I know my painting is not going to be a perfect match to the original piece, but I don't even get stressed about that. I just try to get it as close as possible knowing that my finishing step will blend it all in together. See, it ties in very closely, but there is an obvious difference between the original piece and the bottom edge I painted. Then I put the piece back together. But after I seal it all up with a couple of layers of polyurethane, I then work in Dixie Bell's Best Dang Wax in Dark Brown. I work it into the entire piece, focusing on edges and corners, but I do spend a lot more time on the bottom edge and try to fade it upwards. So by the time that it is all done, the piece will look like this was done on purpose. 
Besides, Ombre is in right now, right? And also, the bottom should look heavier than the top, I think. So what did you think about this piece? Was it worth being saved? I really would like to hear your opinion, so leave your comments below, please. I appreciate all of your support by visiting my channel. Thank you. And I will meet you on the next video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. And especially, don't forget to stay safe out there.